Welcome back to Wages of Sin's 31 Days of Horror. I'm Stephen Gillum, and originally I had a different movie I wanted to review today until I got an email from Ross Patterson. This is uh, in regards to an Indiegogo campaign that I helped fund, and uh, I got a digital download to a movie called Helen Keller vs. Night Wolves. Like I said, this was directed by Ross Patterson, and it stars Jesse Wiseman, Lynn Shea, Barry Boswick, Alana Ubach, Jesse Merlin, and Ross Patterson himself. So at, having only seen the Indiegogo campaign and watching a trailer, this was a, a blind watch for me. Now originally they tried to fund this movie through Kickstarter back in 2012. It, uh, they didn't make their, their goals, so they didn't get the money. So they tried again with Indiegogo and they, uh, they made $41,522. I don't know if that was their entire budget, but this is a, it's a very low budget movie. Now, if you're familiar with Ross Patterson's work, then you kind of know low budget is, is his thing. The first time I saw one of his movies was about President FDR. I call this the Delano 2000. How in the world are we going to storm the beaches of Normandy, take down an entire army of werewolves, and still make it to a French titty bar by last call? Jefferson. And if you've not seen this movie, I highly recommend it. It is hilarious. It uh, deals with him fighting werewolves. And uh, that takes me into uh, Helen Keller. I guess wolves is kind of an ongoing theme with, uh, with Ross. The movie starts with uh, Lynn Shea. She plays an older Helen Keller and she's telling her grandchildren about her adventures growing up and how she uh, saved her town from these night wolves. Jesse Wiseman plays the young Helen Keller and she uh, takes us on the journey of how she became blind and deaf and how she overcame that. So Helen Keller vs. Night Wolves is a revenge story. Helen Keller and her family are attacked by these night wolves and in the process she loses her eyesight and her hearing and uh, thankfully uh, her friend Ann Sullivan is there and uh, she also has lost her eyesight. But she has dealt with this before when she was younger, so she's able to teach Helen how to how to cope with it. So Helen, her brother William, and Anne team up with uh, Jonathan, who's played by Barry Boswick. And uh, Jonathan shows her how to fight, trains her, and Helen gears up to take on these night wolves. And she is uh, she's ready to go. She's got it down. She knows the moves. Her father was a sword maker, so she's got some weapons, and uh, she's good to go. This uh, <clears throat> this movie, it, it's it does not take itself serious at all. This is a campy, just nonsense laugh all the time movie. It's probably not for everybody. It's a, this is my type of humor, definitely. The, even the the time period, it goes from like a late 1800s to modern day. As far as like they they show up to a diner and everything is modern. There's cars outside. I would I would say that if you're easily offended, this might offend you, but. For me, this it, it was a uh, it's just funny. It's something you just kind of put on late at night and just have a good laugh. The uh, special effects, whenever she fights the wolves, is something else. So you, I don't want to. This is definitely one thing I don't want to. I don't want to spoil. You can probably watch it in the trailer if you see it anyway. But you got to see this for yourself. There's nothing that really can describe what this is until you watch it. So I can't recommend this movie enough. I definitely think you should check it out. Um, as far as a Halloween movie, this is a it's gonna be a, this is a funny funny movie. It's uh, if you're scared of this, then I'm sorry, but it uh, it's still fun. It was a fun Halloween watch for me. It's a it's a good break from some of the other stuff I've been watching. This is a, a good good mix in, into the the batch. So definitely check this out. I'm gonna go and give this a rating. I'm gonna give this five Night Wolves. Oh. It's just that good. So check it out. And uh, I actually got a bit by a, a wolf today, and I've been feeling a little funny ever since. So I don't know what that's about. 